Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers, and sometimes use Palominos. That's right. I've got a 2021 Palomino, what is this? Uh, HS750. I took this in on trade last Friday. Uh, just now got around to being able to take a video on it. So this is going to be the camper that we tour on this beautiful day. All right, so the first things that we're going to be going over is what truck it fits, how much it weighs, and how much it costs. So this camper right here says straight up on the Palomino website too. You know, I don't sell them, so I don't know a whole lot about them. So I went and did a little bit of research on it, make sure that I'm relaying good information. All right, so their website says that this fits a 150, 250, and 350 series single rear wheel, single rear wheel, uh, short bed to long bed truck. So five and a half foot bed to an eight foot bed is what it's supposed to fit. I thought that was neat. It's a very versatile camper. Um, this camper also comes in weighing pretty light. It's about 1,780 pounds. Uh, I got that off their website and I got that off the back of the camper as well. So two numbers matching up means that that might be pretty accurate. Uh, the price, we're selling it used for $24.9. Uh, if you are interested in this camper, you can give me a call at 423-892-6272. Um, all my contact info will be in the description below. If you're interested in a Lance, I can help you with that as well. So we'll just uh, kind of walk around the camper. I thought it had a, a lot of cool features to it. Um, I like that it's a fellow hard side camper. One thing that I thought was weird that your battery disconnect switch is right here on the front on the outside. So anybody can come up and grab that and shut you off. Maybe you can, I don't know. I thought that was kind of weird. What I did like about it was it has the Recon Titan jacks here. I know that those are really good jacks. All electric around all four corners. You don't have to sit here and crank on them. Uh, you got you a regular seven pin trailer plug. Looks like a jumper port outside. I know on the Lances you can hook up external uh, or portable solar panels to that so i thought that was neat i have no idea what this is so a little pass through window there looks like uh vents for a battery and then these right here are bump stops all right we'll travel on down the side of this thing another thing i thought was really neat was the tankless water heater feature but, uh, there it is that gives you an endless stream of hot water got to line that gasket up and then push the door in i'm feel familiar with that the lance 650 had that same system there so let's see fresh water connection right over here oh okay fresh water connection that'd be your fresh water drain or uh fill where'd my paper go that was 21 gallons so uh your fresh water tank is 21 gallon capacity and then your black and gray is eight gallons so that's quite a bit smaller than the lances i'm using this used to showing but oh well uh let's see we got our city water connection here it's not real sure what that is maybe a drain of some sort uh look, looks like we got our external hand warmer on this side over here that'd be where the furnace kicks out got a couple of 110 outlets on this side as well a little storage door magnetic hold, magnetic holder to hold it there's our 30 amp cord. I thought it was really cool that these are slam latches. I like that. So looks like we got our 30 amp plug on this side. So all of your campground connections are going to be on the driver's side, just like the Lance's. Screw that back on there. Right here, we've got our park and satellite connections. Familiar with that? Oh, hold up. Had to unlock that for you guys real quick. All right, so it's got an outdoor shower just like the Lances do that I always show for all my freaks of nature out there that like to get jiggy with it and show everything off to the neighbors. I'm just kidding. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. You can use it for rinsing off the feet. If you got sand on the feet, mud on the boots, your dog's paws are dirty, you can use it for all that good stuff. All right, so that was the driver's side, kind of close to this 855S here. Uh, pre-wired for a backup camera it doesn't have one already uh, down here is going to be your sewer connection looks like you got your pull handle through this door as well 
then it just connects right here on the back I guess that's what allows you to back up all the way to the end of it without sitting on the drop down because the Lances have the drop down one so that's different uh, the ladder here says 250 pound capacity so that means that I can hop on this thing I'm not going to get on the roof though I don't know how a Palomino roof is if it's fully walk on or not I suppose it is since there's a ladder back here but there's a solar panel Dometic 10k AC unit max air fan up front I believe that's the one with the auto rain sensing looks like it is anyways I have no idea what that is maybe for the TV bathroom vent right there got a docking light on the rear let's see spot for the steps those are right in the door here too right in there okay campground side we got us a nice awning on this side uh, let's see outdoor speaker so we can tick off the neighbors that right there's a maintenance door for the fridge then we got our propane door right here this comes with one 20 pound tank and then this one's a slam latch also it's supposed to shut anyways but yeah that's the outside of the 2021 palomino all right making our way inside the 2021 palomino hs 750 We've got our bathroom here immediately to the left. Nice and caulked, looks watertight. There's a shower head. This is the wet bath. Got your john right there. Looks like you got a little bit of knee room even. Over here to the right, we've got ourselves a little sitting area, a little lounging area. Got a little pedestal down there for a table. And this pulls out to make a bed. Look how easy that was. I don't think I'm sleeping on there, but somebody with kids or somebody that's not six foot could sleep on there. Got this little privacy curtain here. Just pull it down and that pulls it right on back up. Couple cabinets. Some extras that come with the camper. Well, that's a genius design. Look at that. Well, you still have enough room to get your stuff in and out, but that wasn't very well thought out. All right, across from the little lounging area, you got your kitchen. We've got us a built-in microwave, two burner stove top with a little hood. Uh, our convenience center's over here, so we know what our tanks are at. Now, like I said, it was 21 gallon freshwater tank and eight gallons each on the black and gray control your awning and water pump and lights all through here as well this is where we uh, control our ac unit and like i said that was a 10k dometic tankless water heater that's where you run it anyways well let's see what else can i show you in here in the kitchen area it looks like you got a little bit of countertop space for some prep area um i know when i'm camping i do most of my prepping outside prepping and cooking anyways uh, but you got enough space for an Instapot, Crock-Pot, Keurig, or whatnot, and you got a place to plug it in as well. That's neat. This must be aftermarket. I don't know if this come with the camper or what. That's cool. Uh, up top, you'll notice you don't have quite as much uh, head space in the cab over section as you do one of the lances, but um, just don't forget where you're at in the morning and you won't knock your head off when you raise up got us a little tv over here in the corner radio little uh shelf space for storage and looks like you got little yeah you can access the underneath portion as well it's open all right cool cool beans there's your max air fan as well uh this is a dometic three-way refrigerator runs off propane ac and dc But uh, I feel like that's pretty much it. We kind of hit everything. Oh, you got two speakers up there in the bed area. I um, think that's it for speakers in here. Looks like it anyways. That's all I can see. But yeah, pretty neat little camper. Show you the bathroom one more time. There you go. You got a toilet paper holster in here somewhere? Probably in here. 
Yeah, you can. Yeah, that should be watertight there. Waterproof. Neat. Okay, so that was the 2021 Palomino HS750 Backpack Edition hard side camper that we took in on trade last Friday. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, and probably somewhere in the middle, this thing is listed at 249. If you're interested, you can give me a call at 423-892-6272. And you don't have to just call me on that. If you want one of these lances, I got plenty of them as well. Um, fit a few different trucks. But uh, yeah, we got some inventory now. If somebody wants to come check something out, we'll be here. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Sales is here 9 to 5 and 9 to 3 on Saturday. So come check us out. If you have any questions, go ahead and call me. Or you can comment below. I try to answer as many of those questions as I can. As many as I see anyways. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I think you can even hit a notification bell up there in the corner if for some reason you want to see another video from me. But uh, yeah go ahead and like the video lets youtube know that i know what i'm talking about it might be enjoyable to watch something like that until next time y'all take care and i'll catch you on the next one